Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today we have a very special unboxing, something that came in from Blade Show, Texas. Something exciting to share with you. Uh, this is from Luft Concepts. I was over at their booth and I met Jake and, and both the guys over there. It was really an honor to meet both of those guys and pretty exciting and got a little extra patch there uh, for my knife. So I'm pretty excited about that. Now, some of you guys might have seen some shorts about this already, but I kind of wanted to go through sort of an unboxing first impression before I do a full review because this is a knife that I'm very much excited to have in my collection now. So I got a chance to check it out at their booth and I thought, man, that's pretty cool. It's one of those that you think that looks interesting, but do I like it or not? So let's get into this. All right. So this is the RWB. All right, so it came with a nice little cloth. You have some nice stickers, some stickers, a little ca card here from Ryan and Jake. So it's Ryan Rimmer and Jake Wright. So it's R R W B. So for Rimmer, Wright, and and B, I guess for blade. So that's the it's a a uh, I guess it's a Rimmer Wright blade or something like that. That's maybe where the name comes from. I don't know. I'm guessing. And yeah, I've already had this out, so I already put skips in this thing. And let me tell you, <laughs> if you're curious what skiffs fit it, it is the 316th, 189, 116, 11 ball count, uh, inner diameter 0.189, outer diameter 0.037 with a thickness of 0.05 inches. Fantastic, fantastic little one. All right, so let's take a look at this. I'm going to put the stickers and all that good stuff off to the side for now. I will leave that, see if that doesn't mess anything up. If it, if it causes focus issues, then I'll go ahead and get it out of the way, but... This is a cool little cloth that came with it. I like that Luft concept. So I always wanted to check it out. I wanted to check out the other one, the one they first released, which, man, they had a carbon fiber one they were giving away. Boy, that was nice. Man, I wish I'd won that one because that that is really a nice knife too. Again, it was a different design look. So let's look at this. This is the RWB. And it's, it's titanium. This is black DLC. And... Here's the blade, black DLC blade right here, DLC coated. It's not PVD or Cerakoted or stone washed. This is a DLC, which is really, really cool. And the action on this, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And if I can do it just right, you can actually hear a little ting. So let me see if I can do it just right. See if I can get it just right. It was, it was tinging before. And I don't know if I'm doing it right or not, but let's see if we can get it. It was pretty cool. Let me see if I can get it again. Well, it was pretty cool. Uh, I'll probably do it as soon as I stop trying to do it, but here we go. So this is a black titanium scale. It looks very unique. It's such a unique design. This is a captive pivot. This reminds me a little bit like what Brian Brown has done. I think these guys did it before he, he did, but... Um, this is, uh, it actually has a collar on there and then the pivot, and then this is a screw, and this is a captive pivot as a result. So you have a blade stop pin and a blade, uh, a closed pin, a closed blade stop pin and an open blade stop pin. And it is a kind of a scale coming together to join as a backspacer. So it's like a backspacer built into the, the, the knife itself. You can see a line there. It almost looks like an integral, but it's not. Captive pivot that's hidden, and that pivot, this, this, uh, deep pocket carry clip works really nicely in the pocket and it's relatively deep for a deep pocket carry which I really like and there's no sharp curves anywhere uh, that's the thing that you're going to find really unique and then the lock bar the cutout for the lock bar right here is on the inside so beautiful aesthetic you don't feel anything that sticks out there's no sharp edges anywhere which I found fantastic so when I flick it this this fuller thumb hole flick is absolutely stunning and then this this cutaway, it's got that very sharp, square, kind of cool design. And this right here, it works stunningly well. Now the lockup, we're a good 25%. No blade play, solid in there. But this is so comfortable to release, okay? This is not one of these where it's it feels like there's barely any room. It, it's kind of unique. But I can get my finger in there comfortably, my big, fat, meaty fingers, right? I can get them in there to release that lock bar, and it drops right there. No guillotine. I can catch it like that. And then... Very controlled drop shot. Beautiful. Simply, stunningly beautiful. This is just so nice. And then over here, even a little bit of pressure there, I can easily reverse flick that. Now, if I stick my hand like that directly on there, yeah, that is going to be a little more of a challenge. But you can even have a little bit of pressure like this, and it'll still work fine. But 
I find I can get just nice flick like that. Works really well. Doesn't work real well down here, but um, that's nice. Now I can do middle finger bonus flick. I get a bit middle finger bonus flick, which is always nice. There's no top flip or anything like that, which is perfectly fine. If you're going to do that, you've got to do that thumb hole really, really well. And there's a few knives that do it well. The Devo Stout 2, phenomenal. Um, the Growler, the Mash, all of those Devo knives. Man, Kevin over there, Ke Kevin and, and, um, and Colin, their Devo knives, they do a great job as well. But, man, these guys right here, you got uh, Ryan and Jake really, really knocking it out. So this is the RWB. Now, the cool thing is they're actually working on a USA-made version of a new knife that I'm really looking forward to. I can't wait to see that. They were supposed to have the prototype or sample there. Oh, I'd love to have checked that out. But... Anyways, can't wait to support someone making a USA one. And I think they're working with uh, River's Edge Cutlery. They're now doing a USA production. I think that's simply awesome. Really, 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 really cool. So really looking forward to that. But anyways, yeah, the action on this is just phenomenal. So I'm going to put this off to the side. All right, so let's look at this. You can see that nice drop shot. So real quick, this is a hollow grind compound, great uh, compound grind, uh, flat grind here, hollow grind here comes to a beautiful thin edge. The the uh, the edge on here is really nice and even on both sides. A little longer over here because it's sort of a, I don't know if you want to call this, a, you know, a drop point a danto. This is a a, a clip danto. Uh, we want to call it a clip point danto, whatever. I don't know what you want to call it, but it's cool. It's unique. It's stinking. Very, very unique. Now, the cool thing is I can get the meat of the finger in there for a nice reverse flick. I can get my full finger in there for a nice reverse flick. And then then I can do my thumb over here really easily for a reverse flick. And then you can also do a nice slow roll. It slow rolls really, really well, both left and right hand, which is really nice. That's really nice. I really like that a lot. So this is one of those knives that you can just really work well as a slow roll, but just is very fidgety, very, very fidgety. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, so a lot of bonus. Love the texture on here. Very unique design. Um, none of this is sharp corners, man. I, I, ace, giant mouse, giant mouse. I wish you guys, your ace line would learn how to curve your, your lanyard. Now, there's no lanyard on this, which I don't mind. I'm not a lanyard fan, and to me, that's perfectly fine. So I know you, you folks who love lanyards are going to be bummed. Sorry, but, you know, I, I don't mind it. I really don't. Now... I'm sure someone could, you know, make a lanyard, I guess, if you want to customize it, if that's really important. But such a wonderful knife. So overall, that's the, the look of the knife. Let's get a nice close look up here. You can see it's beautiful black, all blacked out. Um, really nice DLC on here. And the top up here, really, really nice as well. And you can see the back over here. Again, really nice um, captive uh, or collared uh, pivot there, really nice. And again, DLC everywhere. And then you can see the lockup in here. And again, how this is. Now, there's really great hollow hollow, uh, hollow weight relief in here. It does a really, really great job on both the left and the right side, which is really nice. They even do it on the lock bar, which is really phenomenal. I love, love that. That's what gives us, you know, surprisingly, a very nice light feel to the blade. And it's just a really great size, you know. I mean, we're looking at a like about an eight-inch blade here, just maybe a hair over it, right? We'll do we do the review, we'll do the full measurements and everything, but it's about an eight-inch knife. And if I were just for the for the giggles, you know, might as well just do it just for the giggles. Let's just see. Let's just see how heavy this guy is. It's not super heavy, but let's take a look. Yeah, 3.9, 3.9 ounces. I mean, that's that's great. That's phenomenal. I love that. Love, love that. Really, really nice. Really nice. Yeah, so everything about this, I love this. Oh, it also has a beautiful finger choil. Look at this. You can choke up like this. Nice and rounded. No sharp edges. I can choke up here. Get a nice flat presentation up here. You could do pinch grip all day long. Your finger up here works really well. Almost has an edge there to work with. The tip as well, which I love, right? So, but you can choke up here like this. So extra large, double extra large, triple extra large hands. You're going to have room with this hand. And when I grip it here where it's meant to be, this clip is perfect right in my hand super comfortable excuse me squeeze grip no problem no problem whatsoever i love that so the action here is just like i said i can't stop talking enough about it so i went ahead and it's a little oil coming through here i went ahead and put skiffs on here already and let me tell you did it need it no you know it could would this still be great without it absolutely does skiffs make it even better absolutely 100 percent yeah, skips are just phenomenal. Love, love, love skips on knives like this. Simply, simply stunning. 
simply stunning. Yeah, so the skiffs were just phenomenal on this knife. I love what they did with this thing. You can absolutely just see so much about this. I mean, just a lot of little aesthetics that I have very much enjoyed. Now, they had, and I had a short over on Instagram on it, they had a Timascus and a Dama Steel version. Oh, man, did I want to buy that. And what they did is it wasn't a colorful Timascus. They polished it, so it's black and, and polished. So it looks like a zebra Timascus. I love that. So I'm not into Timascus, the colorful stuff. But that zebra Timascus stuff, I dig that. I dig that. That, that. that could lure me in. That could pull me into that Timascus side because I really, really, really like that. I think that's just stunning. So, yeah, it's going to be something eventually I'd love to see more of. But, yeah, phenomenal, phenomenal knife. Man, they really designed it well. Beautiful swedge up here. Great for cutting. Nice and thin but solid, perfect thumb holds. There's not any sharp edges in here. Works really, really well. The edge is super crazy sharp. I will tell you that much. Strops up beautiful. M390 blade steel titanium. Told you hollowed out. Hidden clip with the two screws on this side. One screw on this side. So you got a total of three screws that work really, really well. And that action. Love it. Just love it. Just simply love it. Yeah. So you can see a little line where it hits on the a blade stop pin. Not worried about that. That's that's perfectly fine because I fidget. You can see the other side where it hits as well. Not worried about that either. But the action is just stunningly beautiful. Just a wonderful cutter. Wonderful, nice knife. Great EDC knife. Great carry knife. Love everything about this knife. This knife is just so much fun to carry. Yeah. I haven't carried it a whole lot yet, and, and uh, but definitely will be making a rotation quite a bit. So that is the... Luft Concepts RWB. Um, just love this knife. Um, everything about it. Just how it is. Now, they came in some different variants. Like I said, you can have them with a, you know, uh, kind of a sand, uh, satin finish. I think that was maybe a stone washed or something like that. And then they had some you know, blacked out stone washed handles and some different things. But this is the DLC. And I was super excited to get this one. Boy, this really is nice. And you can tell DLC with those cage bearings. Man, just so smooth, so awesomely smooth. Look at that, that action is ridiculous. I love that, I love, love, love that. So much fun, so much fun. Yeah, so yep, that is the, you know, more close up, just so you can get a look at that. It is such a unique aesthetic, right? At first, okay, so let me just be straight up with you. When I first saw this, I thought, this is not for me, it looks a little weird. And the more I looked at it, the more interesting it was. It was just so interesting, okay? And it kept pulling me in, and I thought, man, I'd really have to kind of handle it. So when I was at Te a Blade Show Texas, I got a chance to go up to the booth and handle it. As soon as I put it in hand, I was like, oh, okay, all right, all right, yeah, 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 that works. And then when I released it, the action was comfortable. It's not tight at all. And that drop shut control action, oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. Now it was like this when I got it, right? It's just, it's just a slightly more glo uh, glossy, smooth with the skiffs in there, right? I'm not going to tell you that, you know, it wasn't as smooth. I mean, it, you can tell if you're, if you've put skiffs in a lot of stuff, you can tell when you put skiffs in. It, it does make a very, it may be very microscopic and almost unnoticeable difference to some. Sometimes it's a huge difference, but sometimes it's very microscopic, but you can still notice. And I could tell, I could tell, but most people might not be able to tell, but just so nice. So when I got it, I got it in hand, everything about it worked so nicely. And I thought, yeah, and I was really tempted. There was a Brian Brown knife out that I was looking at. And I just, I really kept coming back to this, kept coming back to this because it just, it works so nice, left and right hand. It's fidgety all day long. Oh, I think you almost heard the little cling there for a second here. Let me see if I can do it again. Yeah, you can sort of hear it. Hear that? Let me see if I can get it. Yeah, it's kind of a, just a nice, hollow, nice sound. It's really cool, especially with this hollow blade and everything, hollow grind blade, which is really nice. So, yeah. And, and everything about it, just the ramp coming up here, just really nice that I can choke up like this and work that blade and have plenty of room back here too. And, you know, there's enough for me to get a grip here so that I'm not going to lose the knife in my hand, right? It's not going to slide in and out of my hand because there's enough of a ramp there to get me to really lock in and hold it. 
And that's what I like. You can get that beautiful aesthetic, but you have just enough curvature to keep control of the handle. I always worry if it's just perfectly straight that I don't have enough ramp or if it slips, I, won't, I don't want to cut my finger. But this one really does give you that solid control. I'm definitely going to be a user of a knife, I think, for me. Uh, maybe a light user. I don't know. It's just so pretty. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's a light user because it's just a pretty knife. It really is. It's black DLC blacked out. It's just gorgeous. So, yeah, leave it at that. All right. So, this is the Luft Concepts um, RWB knife black DLC M390 titanium handle. Beautifully done. Great, great knife. Um, so, I haven't done the review yet. I'm going to do a full review. You can kind of guess where I'm going to be at because I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. And I just wanted to share this with you. You know, this is one of the Blade Show ones. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm digging this thing. So, yeah, we'll, we'll talk more about it, definitely. And I'll probably have it on the live streams when I come back from vacation because you'll probably see this video before I go on vacation. So, anyways, appreciate you guys. Thank you for your understanding with me being sick and everything. So, thank you to y'all out there. So, hey, if you found this content fun, interesting, worthwhile, would you please consider hitting the like button down below? And if you've already hit that like button, would you please consider hitting the subscribe button? Subscribing and liking the videos really helps out the channel. It allows the channel to grow, produce more content, do more things, ultimately do more things for you guys. So thank you. Thank you to every one of you, especially to you guys who watch the videos, who like, who subscribe. Man, I appreciate you guys. You really help the channel out. And hey, if you haven't already, hit that notification button down below. Also, to all my channel members, a big shout out, a big thank you, a huge, huge I really appreciate you guys. Um, you have no idea. So I just want to say that. And you guys mean the world to me. Um, some of you guys have been sub sub supporting the channel since the very beginning, and I'm honored. I'm totally honored and humbled by that. Some of you guys just became members recently, and I appreciate every one of you guys. If you've been on the fence and you thought, hey, I'd like to become a channel member, check out the description down below. There's a, a link for that. I have three tiers, very intro one, some higher levels. If you want to really help the channel and, and partner up, I Love you and appreciate you for that. Um, just so you know, once a month, I do a thank you to my channel members. It's just a small thank you. I do a giveaway for just the channel members. It's my way to say thank you. Please don't feel obligated to become a channel member just because of that. But I would love to have you. I appreciate you guys so much. You allow me to do some of the things that I can do for this channel, and I'm super grateful for that. And then also, if you've been a channel member for a while and haven't asked me and or just became a channel member recently, send me an email with your name and your address. I'll mail you a sticker. It's my way to say thank you. I do try to do that for everyone. So thank you to you guys out there. Appreciate you all. You guys are amazing. You're awesome. Just want you to know that. Finally, if you haven't checked me out over on Instagram, dropping my class over there, check me out over on, at Rob's underscore nerdy underscore knives again on Instagram and Rob's underscore nerdy underscore knives again on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching today. Have a great day and a great week. Bye.